Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today, I'm looking at the Star Wars X-Wing 2nd Edition Vulture Class Droid Fighter Expansion Pack, which came out in 2019. Now, the Vulture Class Droid Starfighter was first seen in Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Now, I don't know about you, but I love the idea of a droid army. Seeing all three of the prequels in the Clone Wars, a droid army makes sense. Growing up watching the Terminator, a machine, if it's programmed correctly, will never whine, will never argue. It will do what it's told until the task is done. And in one hand, that's very awesome. But on the other, if it actually came true, it is extremely scary. But I guess that's a topic for another time. Getting back to the Star Wars universe, here we have the Vulture Class Droid Fighter. And I have to say, it's a beautiful looking model, we're going to take a look at it in a few. But in the films, these could actually transform into a walker of sorts. Sadly, this model is static and has no moving parts. Now for the model size, it's under one and a quarter inches long, so it's very small, but just like all these X-Wing ships, it has a lot to offer. So you should all know my reviews by now, we're going to take a look at the dials and tokens, cards, check out the stand, look at that beautiful mold, the paint, compare it, and then we'll be done. So let's get moving. Now before we get to the dials and tokens, we have this little sheet here that tells us everything that comes in the expansion. Now usually I skip these, unless they have some new rules. Now, first of all, this explains limited. Now, this was covered in the core set. However, they are going in depth here because a lot of the droid ships have these little dots here. And that explains how many of that particular ship you could have in your squad at the same time. So that's kind of cool. Moving on, we also have remotes. How they work, how to attack with them. And that's because these droids come with buzz droids. And that's really awesome. And it explains how to use them. So that's pretty neat. On the back, we have everybody who worked on it in copyright crap. So now, let's get to that dial token roll call. And now for the dial token roll call, one maneuver dial. Three ship tokens, which are double-sided. One stress token. One critical damage marker. One disarm token. Two calculate tokens. Three charge tokens. Two lock tokens, number 14. One dial ID token. One buzz droid swarm. And finally, three ship ID tokens, number 14. So that does it for all the dials and tokens. Now let's take a look at the cards. Now for the cards, we'll begin with the upgrade cards. Like always, I will read the name of the card. And if you would like to pause the video and read the paragraph below, by all means, go right ahead and continue when you're done. First up, concussion missiles, discord missiles, energy shell charges, munitions fail safe, and finally, grappling struts closed, and then grappling struts open. So that does it for the upgrade cards. Now let's take a look at the ship cards and remote card. And now for the ship cards. First up we have Precise Hunter. Separatist Drone. DFS 311. Horror Chow Prototype. Trade Federation Drone. And finally for the remote card we have Buzz Droid Swarm. And that does it for those. So now let's take a look at the quick build cards. For the quick build cards here's the first one. And here's the second one. And that does it for all the dials and tokens and cards. So now let's take a quick look at the stand. And just like all X-Wing ships, it comes with two rods you connect together to make one large one. Peg it in the base like so. Then you're going to grab your ship. Be gentle, these are fragile. Peg it in the port like so. And just like that, you're good to go. All right, now let's take a look at the mold. Like in all my videos, I will go over all the major sections of the vehicle and then we'll get a nice close-up look to see all those fine details. Let's start looking at the wings. Right in the center, we have our twin blaster cannons looking good. We have our tips, which if you watch Revenge of the Sith, these are where the missiles are that hold the buzz droids. So that's kind of neat. Beautiful detail on the inside and exterior, very nicely done. For the bottom, some good line work, peg port for the stand. Looking at the back, we have our engine sections, which are molded pretty good. Nice. We have our sensor section. Right there, the red slits are the droid's eyes, and then its brain and head is right there. Looking good, some nice line work. And then these two recesses here should be the energy torpedo launchers. So that's basically all the little parts. So now, 
Let's take a closer look. All right, getting as close as I can to this tiny model. We can start with the main body here. We have some beautiful line work, little recess cuts here for the energy torpedo launchers, recesses right here on the sides, and then we have the beautiful droid head. The sensors are recessed in, and that looks pretty good. Then we have some more line work going down the back of the head. Looking good. Now on the sides, we can see some engines and they are cut from the back all the way to the bottom. And that looks mighty fine. Peg port for our stand. Some more line work looking amazing. Now for the exteriors of the wings, we have some recesses, beautiful line work. Love the little module lines right there. And then we have the centerpiece with the twin blaster cannons. Looking amazing. Especially for the size. This is nuts. The interiors of the wings. You can see all that beautiful work there. Magnificently done. We have some modules. The wing tips look pretty good. In the center we have the backs of the blaster cannons which are brown. Well, I should say tan. I guess I didn't paint them gray. But all in all, it's looking pretty good. And for the bottom section, again, it's basically molded the same way. Nothing really to write home about there. Nevertheless, pretty good for the size. And the other side is just mirrored. And that does it for the mold of the Vulture Clash Droid Fighter. Now again, this is very small. We're talking under one and a quarter inches long. But for all the detail in here, this is magnificent. So now let's take a look at the paint. And now looking at the paint on the Vulture Clash Droid Fighter, this baby features five different colors. First up is a nice tan. Looking good, and that's on the main body. Top and bottom. Also the interior and exterior of the wings. Looking good. Now the other color we have is brown. Pretty cool, I really like the color choices here. And that brown is also on the exteriors of the wings. Looking very nice for the size. And the bottom as well. Looking sharp. Now also we have dark gray for the wing tips and the centers next to the twin blaster cannons. Very nice. Now, we also have red for the droid's eyes. Looking very good, very glossy. You can see the light reflect off that. That's awesome. And finally, you guessed it, black wash. Filling in all this beautiful line work, recesses, and little modules, and really adding life to this little model. All in all, a nice paint job. So now let's put this baby back on a stand, compare it to some other ships, and then we'll be done. And now for a quick size comparison with the Star Wars X-Wing 2nd Edition Vulture Clash Droid Fighter seen in the center. On the right hand side we have another Vulture Clash Droid Fighter from the X-Wing 2nd Edition box set, Servants of Strife. Very nice. I love the paint scheme for the CIS, I think this looks great. They're both cool in their own way, it's the same exact model, just different paint. And then on the left hand side we have the Delta 7 Era Sprite, also known as the Jedi Starfighter, which is a great model as well, and I think they do go great together. And that does it today for my review of the Star Wars X-Wing 2nd Edition Vulture Clash Droid Fighter Expansion Pack. Now we all know how I like the prequels and how I love the idea of a droid army, so I'm going to cut right to the chase. This pack gives you everything you need to add one Vulture Clash Droid Starfighter to your Separatist Squadron. And now moving on to the model, this is in my opinion another home run for Fantasy Flight Games. Not only did they give us a miniature that looks very nice with some beautiful recesses, line work, and it looks like it should. But to top it off, they painted it with a nice tan and brown and dark gray color scheme. And what I really love is, besides the black wash, is the little tiny glossy dabs they put in for the sensors on this guy. And it's not drippy, it's not messy, it looks amazing, so I fully recommend this model. 
So that's everything I have to say today. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, everybody.